With Ava Max's new album, Diamonds and Dance Floor, is set to be released January 27, 2023, we can already expect plenty more hits from the pop star. The singer signed with Atlantic Records in 2016 and then released her breakthrough single, Sweet But Psycho, in August 2018. Ava would see that song plus her single, Kings and Queens, chart on the Billboard Top 50 and continue to drop bangers from there. But prior to that first hit song, Ava Max was still pretty unknown to the world. Since then, she's become a powerful force in the music industry, and even though it might have taken her a little while to find fame, she's no stranger to the game, having been putting in the work since entering the music scene in 2013. That being said, there is still likely a lot you don't know about Ava Max, but in this video, we'll talk about her early years, her rise to fame, and much more here for you on Famous Life. Amanda Ava Kosi, known to us all as Ava Max, was born on February 16, 1994 in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Her parents, Paul and Andrea, were both Albanian immigrants who fled their homeland after the fall of communism and spent a year living in a Red Cross-supported church in Paris. There, they met a woman from Wisconsin who they befriended and offered them passports for immigration to the United States. When they arrived in America, not only did they have no money, they didn't even know the language, which made life hard, but that didn't stop Ava from learning a lot from her parents, who are both extremely musically gifted. In fact, her mother was a trained opera singer and her father played the piano quite successfully. She told Rain Magazine, Seeing my parents work from nothing helped me know that my dreams are possible. So it was easier for my mind to grasp wanting to do something at a young age. From eight years old, I knew what I wanted to do. It was kind of a blessing and a curse knowing so young. By the time she was eight, the family was on the move once again, this time to Virginia where they lived in Hampton Roads. As a young kid, Ava was a huge Britney Spears fanatic and it was her love for Britney's music coupled with her parents influence that made her want to pursue a career in pop music. So during her years in Virginia, Amanda's own passion for music began to take hold. She started by competing in singing competitions like Radio Disney at a mall in Chesapeake. She then made her stage debut at the age of only 10 as an opening act, performing the Whitney Houston song, I Wanna Dance With Somebody Who Loves Me. Ava often traveled to Florida to perform in singing competitions and began releasing music under the nickname Amanda Kay. Today, she looks back on this time in her life fondly, but she's fully aware that her musical talent was not where it needed to be yet. At the age of 13, Amanda came up with the name Ava for herself, replacing the name her parents gave her because she never felt like an Amanda to begin with. With her new name in hand, her mother would drive her to competitions like Talent Rock, which took place in Florida. There, Ava competed against something like 3,000 other kids and placed in the top three. But when she wasn't performing, Ava was leading an otherwise pretty ordinary life, attending Lex High School, where she told Rolling Stone, I would get bullied. It was really hard for me to get along with people who didn't have the same goals. So I just wanted to get to California. Recognizing their daughter's talent and dedication, her parents packed up their belongings once again at the suggestion of her mother and this time moved to Los Angeles to get Ava's music career off the ground when she was 14. However, things didn't go according to plan once they got there. Ava was constantly being rejected for being underage. She then relocated to South Carolina a year later and began writing songs about relationships she had observed, including those of her older brother. Ava later stated she was grateful for the move as it allowed her to experience a normal childhood. During her time in South Carolina at school, Ava was attending high school for a year after being homeschooled and sadly she recalled being constantly bullied. When she was 17, Ava felt like she was ready to take another crack at LA. She and her brother, who was acting as her manager at the time, moved back to California in the hopes of igniting her career. She acknowledged that their partnership didn't work out due to differences and receiving orders from her brother, as well as because neither of them knew anyone in the area. Ava's difficulty searching for producers and songwriters alone caused her to spiral down a really bad path, which led her to drink at an early age and having to survive on $20 a week. Despite the disappointment and rejection in LA at first, eventually they hooked up with one of Ava's friends, a producer named Circuit who worked alongside Max Martin and Dr. Luke on Katy Perry's mega hit Roar and Miley Cyrus's Wrecking Ball. 
all. It was at Circuit's birthday party that Ava performed Happy Birthday for him, and after hearing her voice, Circuit knew he just had to work with her. The two hit the studio pumping out song after song, but it was the track Anyone But You, which they uploaded to SoundCloud, that really landed Ava on the map. Before long, record labels were taking notice, and in 2016, she was teaming up with Atlantic. After signing her new deal, Ava came up with the last name of Max for herself after considering what she wanted her last name to represent. She settled on Max because of how masculine it sounded and when coupled with the femininity of Ava, she thought the two mixed well together because she considers herself a 50-50 split between the masculine and feminine. At that time though, Ava was making headlines mostly due to the way she looked. Her wigs and haircut in particular were getting her a whole lot of notice. Ava says she came up with this style almost fully by accident. One day she cut her hair on the right side of her head before remembering that she had cookies in the oven that needed to come out. So she ran downstairs to check on them without cutting the other side of her hair. As she did, she saw her reflection and realized what she had reflected back at her felt more like herself than anything else she tried. Her cookies might have been burnt, but her haircut was born. Despite the upward trajectory her career was taking, it still wasn't all smooth sailing. She was a signed artist with a hit under her belt, but after recording hundreds of songs in search of her next big single, Ava was beginning to feel pretty hopeless. She told BBC, Every year that went by, I was like, am I ever going to make it? Is this ever going to happen? I've been trying since I was 10 years old. One day, about a year before Sweet But Psycho, I was crying and my mom said, I really don't want you to get disappointed if you want to choose another career. And I looked at her and I go, no, why do you think I'm crying? This is what I want to do. I will never let go of this. And so I continued and Sweet But Psycho happened. Sweet But Psycho was released in August 2018 and the song became Ava's big breakthrough immediately. It was a number one hit in more than 20 countries around the world, including the UK, where it stayed at number one for a whole month. By March 2019, she was releasing her follow-up single, So Am I, which also found a whole ton of success around the globe. Over the following months, she would drop more and more tracks on her way to releasing her debut album, Heaven and Hell, in September 2020. The album would go on to peak at the number two spot on the UK album's chart and number 27 on the Billboard 200. In 2021, Ava would release Every Time I Cry, which she dubbed a continuation of her prior studio album, and also followed up with some collab songs, including the motto with Tiesto. In February 2022, Max hinted at a new project by replacing her Max cut hairstyle with cherry red shoulder length hair and emphasizing a red and pink appearance on her social media. While being interviewed in March 2022, Ava acknowledged that her second studio album was written the previous year during a personally difficult time. The album's lead single, Maybe You're the Problem released in April 2022, and Ava announced her second studio album, Diamonds and Dance Floors, on June 1st, 2022, scheduled for release January 27th, 2023. Ava has already released three further singles from the album, which included Million Dollar Baby, Weapons, and most recently, Dancing's Done. Well, it's clear that Ava Max didn't have the easiest road to fame, but we're so glad she made it because she keeps giving us hit song after hit song. Not only is her new album highly anticipated. We also can't wait to see what's next for Ava in the future. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Famous Life and leave a comment for who you'd like us to feature next.